Greetings and welcome to a brand new series, A New Dawn. The truth is always very difficult and can be very ugly to face. And the next thing I'm going to say, a lot of you are going to find it very difficult to do. But it has to be done. And that is you have to forgive all those narcissists, all those psychopaths, all those rapists, all those child molesters and so on. The very worst and most un unpleasant. Why do you have to forgive them? Because if you don't forgive them and you still hold hatred, you're holding a negative energy. Let me just explain this in an easy demonstration. You, or presentation, I should say. You don't have to know really much about this, except how it works. Here's a magnet. It's what the heart does. And it shows here. What you send out... You're the magnetism in the middle, driving the electric and the dielectric. What you send out comes back. Now, if you're holding something negative like hatred, that's a minus, isn't it? A negative sign. If you only send out love, you're sending out a positive energy wave. Now, if you can't forgive these people, just think about why they are like, or why they have been like that. Generally, it is something that this happened to them. So what is inflicted by one onto another, they become the second, the second generation. So one and two is 12. The twelfth number of the alphabet is the K. The centre point of the K is the line. And you can go two ways from that. You can go up or down. So depending on how they have dealt with what the experience they've been through will then decide whether they rise above or whether they fall. And let's face it you chase it back to the perpetrator of that crime. Invariably, they're just another link in that chain. And it, you just go back to that source of that evil that took that wrong path in the first place. <laughs> A magnet will attract like energy. So if you're holding this negative Remember, you are captain of your vessel. Do you want to go down with a sinking ship? That's why you have a, a sinking feeling in the heart. So you've got to let that go. When you become positive, you become light. That is a, the simplest way to explain it. Now, some very interesting things. I was going to leave this over to another video, but um, hey, actually, before we even get that, we don't, get, we don't even need to worry about the details of everything. Probably buildings will sink 6 to 12 feet in the ground. Any more than that, then I need to be on the roof. <laughs> um, we're, it could well be that all that will be left is the attics, um, the roof areas of existing properties. I don't know how far this magnetic field is going to come down, but... If you're positive, now this is where the, the numbers come in. I'll just explain why. If you write out the alphabet, all 27 letters, because there are 27, remember the ampersand is the silent end. So they, they hide the end of it and leave you with Z, which is the 26th. But the amazing thing with these numbers, A to I is one to nine. Then you drop down the next line and you have J, to R, the 10th to the 18th letter, and then S to the Ampersand is the 19th to the 27th. But when you move down to the second line, the J, that's 10, that's 1 and 0, so that's 1. 
k is 11 so that's 1 and 1 which is 2 so it's still 1 to 9 on the other two lines so you can add these numbers up for different um, words so for example let's find the notes again sun sun is 1 3 and 5 which makes a sum of 9 so it's the end the soul however is one it's the start so if you're cleansed by this magnetic ray this sun that comes down it's going to go round you because your heart hasn't got any negative to draw in a negative this is the cleansing of the souls that will take place so i don't think any animals are going to be particularly harmed most animals as far as I know don't hold any hatred dogs yeah maybe where they've been abused so again I mean what will survive from this how forgiving is this wave that's open to speculation I think it is best to just let go of all negative energy uh, all negatives in the heart and just be positive and to sit back, don't because everything you think about it, a worry is a negative, so that's a, a negative held in the heart again. So it's sending out the wrong energy. So just send out love, just send out positive, and everything is going to be fine. You don't have to do anything. You ha don't have to partake in anything, because your magnetism is still. You're not driving anything. You can't. It won't drive the electric or the dielectric if it's switched off. But it, at the same time, it's switched on. This is the pole shift. If you're looking at something in a negative way, like one plane crashes and 400 people die, or you're looking at the positive of however many thousands have not crashed and nobody's died, you've switched it to a positive. There's your pole shift going on within, because the universe is within. It's all about going within anyway. If you are the god or goddess of that universe and you create, and you will be... Like I said on the last video, you will be crowned. The, this magnetic field will pass right through us or go round us, depending on what energy we send out. We repel anything bad with love. So anything like 5G and that has not got a chance. Um, you create your own universe. You create your own world. So if you are being that light of your universe, you are that sun and that universe revolves around you because you are the centre of that. You are the centre point of that universe anyway. So in some ways you could say the heliocentric model for, in that context is not wrong because everything is revolving around the sun because you are the sun of that universe and it is all going around you. Your blood flows all around you. That reminds me, yes, red shoes, what do they represent? Um, my interpretation of this, without it, listen to what anybody else has said on it we've your souls are on your feet the red is the blood that is you that is your dna that is your that's your sacred or one of your sacred fluids so the red shoes in a way is the trampling of over everything or it can be whatever imprint you make with your blood, with your soul, um, it's going to create, if it's pure of heart that's being pumped out, it's going to create something good. You will create the world around you. This is going to be very different. This reality is going to become almost like a void. The sun or this magnetic field will come down it will just cleanse everything because the sun is a nine it's an it's an end if you're not affected by that you're a soul you're you are the one you are the one of that universe and from you you then create into whatever replaces this physical physicality realm in this matrix that we're in now so it's um it's all good but yeah try this with these um numbers and and words i, I don't, i've done a few more if i can find i did satan well satan is the sun again because it's one 
Because if we've given up that 10% ego to this thing and what most people's interpretation of Satan is, is just pure ego, it's self-destructive and the, the one, it's, um, it's created something bad, but um, we can flip it, we can change the poles and turn it all to positive. Collectively, we create more than a universe that we could create a series of universes like the flower pattern again so science has been telling us and nasa has been telling us the truth in a very deceptive way because they have to twist things that's in their nature and uh, we can forgive them for that for all their lies that they've told we we were only They've only got where they have because people have accepted it and they've not questioned anything. But we don't have to accept that or we can look for the truth in that what is being said with everything. There is no right or wrong. There's yes and no, you could say, or there's yes and possibly. There's definite, there's positive, there's negative, there's staying neutral to it all. And... Isn't that the wonder, the mystery? And that's the other thing. We've been given history, his story. But what about our story, the story we want? Well, if we are separate universes, or the universes in ourselves, that's surely my story. We can all say it's my story, our individual ones. And what is my story but mystery? And what is around mystery? It is clouded. Well the clouds are being removed so there will be no mystery it, it will be my story revealed we'll probably have all the memories or be able to access all the memories we once had so we will be able to do and create pretty much anything and everything imagine the possibilities of this with all your dna all switched on because it's all positive think what you can do you want to live for a thousand years, you want to live for two thousand years. You decide when you've had enough of this realm. You have the power over life and death of yourself. You have power over yourself because you are sovereign to yourself. So this whole idea of in biblical passages about people living for fantastical ages is a real possibility suddenly. Time itself is going to change. Space is going to change. We will most likely have four phases and be able to move in four directions and instantly. It's a wonderful thing that is coming and it's going to be a wonderful golden age. There is no doubt about it. Um, temperatures are going to go up. Things are going to get a little bit hot. <laughs> I'm already starting to get the tan. Hey, look, I've gone for the, the red vest. Watch out when I put the blue one on because uh, it's flipped polarities think also the blue is, effect, uh, is associated with ice well what does ice do it can do exactly the same as fire it can burn but it can burn with it much more severe a baptism of blue fire is not something pleasant it may well be what this negative um, this wave that's coming down actually is I don't want to dwell on the negatives. <laughs> um, we can talk about the negatives in the energy sense because in that there is a positive that comes out of it because it cleanses. And this is the changeover of the age. Not the resets. Not the evil, nasty resets. This is the good reset. This is wiping the slate clean. You choose when you, whether you want to be in it or whether you want to be recycled. Hold on to that negative energy and go with everything else. There's, um, I don't know how forgiving and how giving this force is, how much it will allow to go through. I would strongly suggest that just be just totally positive, but also neutral. So there's your possible and your yes together so what are we talked for here 14 15 minutes 1455 number sequence there so you could say 555 five, five.
That's a high five, three fives. <laughs> like I said before as well, on I think I forget which video it was. The, the, the game. This is a game, a game of life. And you want to find paradise, you need a paradise. That's two sixes normally to start the game. Think also, do a little Google search on, on Ludo, L-U-D-O. It's, it's normally, the, work, the way I remember it as being like a, a cross and the counters go round. The first one to get to the end wins. The other ones get wherever they get to on the board and then you start a new game and you all start back at the start again. And you've either achieved it or you haven't achieved it. And this is what will happen to a large number of people. They will have to start the game again, start that same game where move on. I've noticed also when I put in on the Google images the way it's laid out. I'm sure like the red, yellow, green and blue match up with the four angels, the four angles. Let's think about angel as well. If you take the L out of it and you rearrange the letters, you've got gain. We've got everything to gain here and nothing to lose, no thing to lose. So I've talked a little bit more and gone off on a slight tangent um, as usual. <laughs> but um, this is absolutely wonderful. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to fear about any of this. Just the thing to do is the internal work and let go of any negatives, let go of any hatred. Um, forgive your enemies if you want to put it in a sort of biblical Jesus type message because there's a truth and a basis in everything. And um, yeah, we're not the ones to judge, it says. So we're not, we're not here for that. We're here for creating, becoming the new Elohim. Taking the L back into the game and becoming angels, because that's a, the, that's been the, the ultimate insult. Really, is to take the L, take the elves out, take the eleven, the equal sign, the one and one, because we're in procreation. We are procreators uh, in male and female bodies. You never know, we may need to increase in numbers. We may not, who knows? We decide on all of that. Women will have the power whether they want to be pregnant or not and create new life, or if they want to say, no, I've got all the time in the world. I'm not ready to be a mother yet. Think of that, how awesome that 360 senses, fully activated DNA, shining and being golden will really bring the earth could look very different it could look like pictures of you see of Mongolia or Mars the sky I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't red and uh, hey I just thought I'd be flying the flag the hair's going white the skin's going red I'll put the blue top on I'll be red blue and white <laughs> um, so I'll have the positive the negative and the, the cleansing of the white still got the black of the pupils for the lessons being a, pu a pupil you know, it's life lessons that are coming in being shown to us and then with experience we project out we've been through all we've been through all the shit and um, the flipping of the polarities the karma the eight is as um, Haley Cami channel has said the eight is two threes facing each other because you're facing your shadow side and then for infinity we can create something so we don't have to keep going through all this crap anymore and uh, it's, it, we can create something really wonderful anyway coming up to 19 and a half minutes I think that's plenty <laughs> but um, see the magic goes when you understand the that the magic is just magnetics and um, see it for what it really is and uh, yeah it's gonna be fantastic so all in energy and whatever the reality becomes the reality becomes and uh, I'll see you there anyway but there's gonna be more videos as and when so ta-ta
for now. <laughs>